Very cool looking bait. And up next, look we, that you can pre-order this one. It is the Little John Micro DD. Is that right, John? That's right. Yeah, it's the Little John Micro DD. It is a little teeny deep diving crankbait. It's got the signature DD shaped bill with just a little small package. Just for comparison purposes, here is the the Little John MD below, and then the the Baby DD is a, is above. So there there it is, and you can kind of see the size difference. Uh, here's another. Uh, that's the matte shad color. But you can see that little small dude. That thing has a. Uh, it has almost just like the big, the big dive. And this is the big DD, the DD seventy. Uh, you can see there's a monster difference. In, in the size of these two baits right there, man. It's just a, it's a, it's a little bait, but it'll run seven, eight, nine feet deep. Uh, and it, and it casts on a bait caster. You can cast it on a bait caster and get it on down there. I've been, I've been throwing it on 10 pound tests mostly. I've thrown it on 12 and it does okay. I, I just like the feel of it on, on 10. And I think a lot of people here come, uh, come next spring are going to be catching fish on that little dude right there. And there's, and just to, so people know there's no, weight transfer system in this bait mm -hmm. it, it had it, it the bait is so small it messed up the the balance of the bait and, and it didn't make it run consistent so we just made a fixed uh a fixed weight in there so there's no rattle there's no anything yeah it's completely silent but that bait is so short and, and small and compact there's there's no problem casting it and just like all the other little johns it has that slow float so when you reel it down and stop it slowly comes back up to the surface and, and that's, you know, that's deadly for, for a lot of uh, different conditions when those fish want that bait to just be sitting right there in their face once you stop it. Very nice. Another great addition to the, the Spro, I mean, the, you guys have a, it basically, there's a, a, a John Cruz crankbait for Spro for every crankbait condition. That's a very a cool addition to it. I mean, you mentioned casting in the, in the different the system. What rod reel line do you use to, to cast that thing? Or what are you using to fish it? Uh, on the... On the on the smaller one, I've I've been using the Cashin seven foot medium heavy cranking rod. I don't have the model number in front of me, but it's one of the C C series. It's one of the crankbait series, but it's the seven foot medium heavy. It's a very parabolic, very very uh, um, not whippy, but it's got it's got a lot of uh, bend to it, and it casts those little small plugs really really well. Uh, you can you can get away with it. Uh, you can throw a you know regular little John on that same one as well, but that you know the little john square bill rod is a little too powerful in my opinion for this little small plug you just you can't cast it very accurately or, or very far because that rod is just a little too powerful but that's that's what i do i got sunline um you know sniper 10 pound that's what i like to throw it on Daiwa titula 100 reel and a 6.3 to one and you're ready to rock i've actually got one tied on in my boat right now ready to head up north very, Very cool. Nice. Yeah, you know, I, I've been waiting for a smaller version of that of that DD. I, I'm really excited to see that. And, and you know, I, I think a lot of people have problems. You, you spoke a little bit uh, about that. I think a lot of people have problems throwing small crankbaits. And to me, it's always it's always a rod and line issue, John. Mm -hmm. uh, can, can you talk Absolutely. a little bit about that? Because I think a lot of people get a small crankbait and they're intimidated to throw it just because they, they can't huck it like they're like they're big crankbaits. Right. Yeah. Your, your rod action needs to match up to the size of the bait that you're throwing. If you have a heavier or bigger bait, you, you can have a stiffer rod because that rod, you know, as you go to cast it, it's going to flex, it's going to build up energy, and then it's going to release it. If, you're, if your bait is too small, you know, you got a little teeny small you know, micro DD or something along those lines, chad wrap, whatever. If your rod's too powerful, meaning that it, it's too, too firm, when you go to cast it, the rod is not going to flex in order to release that energy and be and to be able to throw that bait. And that's the best way I can I can describe the difference. You need to have a rod that's that's uh, got enough flex to it. So when you go to cast it, it's going to it's going to build up that energy and then release it and, and send that bait flying. Very cool. Uh, tell us a little more, too. I, you know, you started off with with flat sided crankbaits. Uh, that was the first introductions you had with Spro back when. Uh, it, and is that it? Is that it all year? You, you mentioned people were waiting for for your new crankbait introduction uh, for a pre-spawn thing, but is that something you really integrate into your fishing year-round? It is. I fish the flat side baits all year. I mean, I've got, uh, like I said, I've got that thing ready to head up north, the little micro D DD, and I know nobody else has it in their arsenal, a little teeny plug like that. Uh, but I also have, you know, Little John 
uh, baby DDs as well, which run in that 12 to 13 foot range. Uh, I have those in there ready. That's a that's a tremendous smallmouth crankbait. The baby DD is, and uh, you know the flat. The big difference between flat sided crankbaits and round sided crankbaits is that the flat sides, as you can see that you know with the flat sides, the bait doesn't roll as much. The pressure on the sides, the flat sides, keep the bait keeled a little bit more, so it'll stay more upright. And as the bait is wiggling, it doesn't roll as much from side to side it stays more vertical and you get more of a side to side bend just a little different vibration a little different signature going through the water that you get with flat sided crankbaits i've had a tremendous amount of success over the years from the entire little john lineup plus other flat sided crankbaits i think you know a lot of people are seeing the success with um you know the fritz side you know that that bait has gotten very popular a lot of people catching a lot of fish on, on that crankbait. So that, that flat-sided type crankbait, it, I think, is really, really starting to catch on. People are starting to understand the, the power of those things. Very cool. Well, uh, yeah, thanks for telling us about that. And, and additionally, uh, 